parked in the strawberry field and they're like these giant giant fields and they go on forever so we decided to call our blog today strawberry fields forever and people wake up at like 4 30 in the morning and they'll you know like maybe go at their bus stop like 5 5 30 and they actually make it to the fields and they don't get there and work until like 6 a.m and then you work until we worked until 3 30 um but the for this is our second day doing fields and so the very first day um we left at 3 30 but they actually continued working until seven o'clock at night so it's just insane and like the strawberry fields are you know like only up to like your knees and you're like bent over the entire day just like picking all these strawberries and you know like you need like the perfect shape and the perfect size and it, if it's too like ripe like if it's ready right now they're actually called segundas and if they're like gonna be ready in a couple days they're called primeras and you package them in like all these little boxes and cases and we actually got to package ones that were getting shipped off to Canada so happy eating if you buy strawberries I hung out all morning with this like 46 year old man and his last name is Coyote so everyone just calls him like it's Coyote so everyone just calls him Coyote and he is a riot he was like all day like he was trying to help us pick strawberries and stuff and like he would look over in our bin and he would see one that was like too much white or something he's like oh no 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 and he would like pick it out and he would like hide it in the bushes for us and then I just cracked up laughing like ah I just had a great time with this guy all day and so he just like kept me going and we were like did a bunch of rows uh, together and after lunch in the afternoon me and Shayna stuck together um, around this one guy that was playing a bunch of English music and we had just been saying to ourselves like why how like why would he be playing English music he doesn't understand well lo and behold like five minutes later we find out he speaks English and so the whole afternoon me and Shayna were just picking strawberries with this um, boy named Jose and we found out that he's only 16 and he had to drop out of school to work in the fields um, he did it because like he wanted to help out his family so like he wasn't forced into it which is kind of good but I think that he might have you know felt like self guilt and so he wanted to help out um he was saying how like his mom's in the hospital right now so it's actually only him and his dad working to support their whole family so for the 16 year old to go to work and just have that motivation already that's just like amazing like when Shane and we're talking we're saying like we would not be motivated at 16 to just wake up at 4 30 in the morning and go to work all day um and then back to his little brother his his little brother's only five, and we were saying um, on his free day on Sunday, he goes to church with like a family day and everything, but he also really, really loves soccer, and so he likes to teach his little brother soccer, and he said he's getting really good at it. Okay, so between um, Jorge and Coyote, they helped us like make it through the work day, and they really like showed us gringas how to, to work and, you know, gave us pointers, whether it was hiding your strawberries so you wouldn't get in trouble or, you know, helping you pack your box just right so that you could go up there and the ladies wouldn't, you know, huck your strawberries at the fence and say you did a bad packing job and all this stuff. Anyway, they just made our day a lot better and we really admire not only them but all the workers there for them to all work 9 to 13 hours a day, 7 days a week and they get paid about $11 a day. That's it. And it's like crazy, crazy like back bending over and like our backs were so sore the first day and the second day and like some of us were even like kneeling down the aisles by the end of the day and you know like leaning on your cart it's crazy like such physical work and we really admire all like all those workers there and they were such like I guess like an inspiration to us even throughout the day even Rose was saying she's like when those families go home she's like how do how are they acting they're all happy and smiling and we even see them pass through like our gateway there and she was like, let them be an inspiration for you. Because we're like, oh, the work day's over. Like, we're so tired. But, you know, like, we want to be like them and just still be so happy even after you did so much work. One more thing. Hi, Mom. I love you. Big hug.